Advanced Setup offers many options for configuring the Spectralight QC to fit into your specific workflow. There are many system configuration options available. Here's how to access them. From the main menu, press and hold the More button until you see Setup. Press Admin to access the Advanced Setup 1 screen. If prompted, enter your password. Press the Sys button to access System Settings. Here's a list of the settings you can configure. No need to write frantically. This information is available in your user manual, including the defaults for each option. The factory default automatically uses UV. You can use DL plus UV to change this to manual. Dim control allows you to set fluorescent lamp dim control by lux or by voltage. UV is always dimmed by voltage. Depending on your model, the factory default for the filter is either D50 or D65. Only change this setting if the filter is changed by an authorized service technician. The up and down arrows can be customized to change dim control or LCD brightness and contrast. You can enable or disable an acoustic signal when a message appears on screen. When enabled, Sensor Monitor will display the sensor data for things like the lamp, input, and temperature in the main menu. Switch Name allows you to change what displays above the buttons, either the type of lamp, such as CL84 or CFW, or a generic lamp name, such as FL1 or FL2 if you set them. We'll cover this later. End of Life Pre-Warning allows you to set a specific percentage or turn it off altogether. Time Format can be set to 12 or 24 hours. Operation Mode allows you to choose between the Spectralight QC mode or Control Box mode, depending on how you use the product. You can enable or disable a password requirement for admin setup. RF Remote will enable or disable a remote, and RF Remote ADDR allows you to add a new one. If you want to add an additional remote control, follow the steps in your user manual. Auto Off can be set to a time period between 1 and 999 minutes for the DL, HC, and HL lamps to change to the FL1 lamp. Set it to zero if you don't want the lamp change. The standby timer can be set the same way. Then, when you touch any button, the machine will wake up. Message level determines whether a higher level message will appear on the display. Message levels 1 through 99 are for error and warning, and 100 through 255 are for general information. Message repeat is the number of times you want a message to appear on screen. It can be set between 1 and 100. Key repeat times will set the automatic repeat interval. Pressing and holding the key will produce multi-click events. This can be set between 100 and 999. To set any of these options, use the up and down arrows to highlight and then press Edit to access the editing screen. Use the up and down arrows to set your value. Press OK to save, then exit to return to the main menu. The Spectralight QC offers the ability to set a password to protect your administrator functions, such as owner and operator information, profiles, and lamp end-of-life settings. If you have a need for this kind of security, you can find the steps for setting a password in your user manual.